Today, friends, we are going to make a fantastic Tinkercad clicky fidget duck. So let's get cracking. Friends, there is a template that you need to start this project. You can get there by typing bit.ly slash HL fidget one. But friends, I have also added it to the HL mod tech website. Of course, friends, there are tons of amazing categories that you can check out. Day one favorites, useful starters and the Tinkercad essentials. But check it out at the very top. You can also click on the Gingy Clicky Fidget template. Now today's project is going to show you how to take just about any 3D design and almost instantly make it into a fidget. Friends, the template is in this project, which you can copy and tinker. Don't forget the golden rule of Tinkercad, though. Give a reaction before you copy and tinker. So these notes explain how these fidgets work. We have an outline. It flips over, and as you saw with the duck, it clicks when you press it. That works because of mechanical keys that we insert. Right here are the templates you need. We want to make these into what's called a your creation so you can bring it to brand new projects. To do so, we simply click on it. We click over here and choose your creations. With it selected, we hit create shape. It takes a moment to arrive, then you can name it. I'm going to just call this clicky hole. You could describe it, tag it. I do lock the part size because this is the exact size we need and hit save shape. Notice it shows up right here. I've already got both of these completed, so I'm going to simply hit delete on that one and confirm. Of course, now you would click on this one and follow those same steps. So you had both. Once you've created both of them, you can back out. Friends, now check this out. We are going to search for a fantastic project created by ZDP189. It is named Ducky. When you click on it, of course, there are a ton of duckies that show up. I'm going to sort them by reactions and bingo. Here is the amazing ducky by ZDP. This little critter is adorable. It is set to copy and tinker. So don't forget the golden rule of Tinkercad. Give a reaction before you copy and tinker. All right, so first some kudos to ZDP 189. These projects are always set to copy and tinker so you can ungroup and learn and explore how we built it. Now we are gonna cut it up and we're gonna make it into a clicky fidget. Let me show you how. Move to your creations and find those parts that you made. Now I made mine a while ago, so you see I have to click back here and find first the key cap and then the key cutout. Now we've got two measurements that matter, 11.27 and 3. So what I'm going to tell you, the numbers that we're going to use are 4 and 12. We can now grab our ducky, and I'm going to grab all of it because I ungrouped a little bit of it a moment ago, and I'm going to shrink it down to the size I want to print. So if I check this side right here, that's 70. Let me check that measurement, still 70. I'm going to shrink it from this side. There is my 60 by 40 by 41 ducky. Now remember, we need to sink this piece in, and I'm going to sink it in from 12. So we're just going to bring out a basic shape of a hole and we're going to cut our ducky into chunks for the top and the bottom. So I know that I want 12 left. So I'm going to set this height to 12 and then I'm going to do control D, put the work plane on top with the letter W and do D and I'm going to stretch that up above the duck. I do want to make sure these come past so we can cut all of it. All right, friends, so this is where it gets super cool. I'm going to hide this. I have ungrouped this so that we can get to these separate parts. And I've just taken the eyeballs and I've locked them. And I did the same for the beak. And I'm also going to quickly lock these eyebrows. So with those all locked, I can now hide this, grab the entire ducky. I can do control D. And when I shift nudge back, I've only got the body of the ducky. Now I can do show all, hide the cutting block right here. And if I select our entire duck, notice these pieces are all locked. So when I do control G to group, there is a pause while that grouping occurs. But after a moment, we have got the four shapes that we're gonna use for our duck's top. Now let's click on this ducky 
and do shift nudge to bring them up to his old location. Notice those line up perfectly. Now we can take this one and we can hide it. And we're going to grab this one and simply move it over with shift nudge. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then D to drop. So that way when I hit show all, I've got my full ducky and these parts are not going to be a problem because I can simply squeeze it so it's only cutting the parts I want. I'm going to now grab those two and do control G to group. Those are our two ducky parts. They are aligned exactly side by side. Check this out. Shift select. L for align. Make this one the boss. We want middle, middle, and we want it to come to the top. These are easier to see if you look at it from an angle. We do want to make this a little higher, so we're going to switch to point one nudge and do control up. Double check to make sure you like that middle. Some projects I have had to nudge them. This one I do like right as it is. So now I'm going to shift select these two, do L for align, and I want to make sure it aligns to the middle of that shape. Now I'm going to align this to the ducky, but for this project, I want to flip it the other way. So we're going to use the mirror command and make it so the key is down. My other projects I printed face down, so we had it backwards. Finally, we can do shift select, L for align, make the duck's body be the boss, and all we want to do is center it that way. This direction was already set. Our final step, friends, is to do control G to group. Wait patiently for those red lines to go away. And then for the top, we want to just get the back parts and keep the eyes separate. So notice it says two shapes, and we can simply hit control G to group. That way we can send these all to the printer separately for printing on a multicolor printer. Check it out when you hide them. They are right there and ready for use. Friends, that is how you make a clickable ducky. Let me show you how we get it set up for printing. I'm going to send it as a few pieces. Let's do export, single shape, STL, and I'm going to call this ducky base or base ducky. I'm going to click on just the yellow part here and I'm going to do export. STL, still selected shape, and this will be top ducky. Now, if you printed this all one color, you could have selected all of these at once. I'm going to do them separate colors, so I'm going to shift select these two parts, both the eye and the eyebrow. I'm going to export those as a selected shape. I'm going to call it eyes ducky. And then I'm going to do the beak. Selected shape STL. And of course, beak ducky. And save. So with that done, friends, let's bounce to Bamboo Lab Studio. And let's click prepare, add, I'm going to print this as two separate projects. I'll show you why in a moment. Right now, we're just going to grab the top of the ducky. <laughs> Notice I did name that one incorrectly. I want single object, multiple parts. So here we've got the adorable top. I'm going to set, I'm going to set the main part at yellow. I'm going to set the eyes as green. And of course, the beak is going to be orange. Now, what I want you to see here is that this tiny design that looks pretty awesome. If we bounce back to global, I'm just doing standard. And if I slice the plate, this multicolor project is going to take an hour and 43 minutes. Now, my eyeballs didn't show up. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on there real quick. If we go down through the preview, I can see them, but it looks like they're on the inside. So I'm going to go back to prepare, and notice it says there's a couple parts that need repair. So quickly, I'm going to hit repair, let it do its thing. Now I'm going to click on the eyes of the ducky, and I'm going to scale them up just a tiny bit. I'll say uniform scale, and where they say 
I'm gonna just make that six. Everything gets a little bit thicker. Now let's go back to slice plate. And bingo, there are the eyes like I'd expect them. Once again, two hours and 51 minutes now that all those colors are showing up. And this little guy is tiny. So I just want you to understand that's how long it takes if you do multicolor. All right, so real quickly, check this out. I did file, I did new. Let's add just the base. Same settings. I will switch the color just because that yellow looks nicer. And when we slice this one, this project takes 20 minutes. So that's how long it adds by switching to colors. It's crazy how much faster this is when you don't have to do the multicolor. I'm gonna real quickly show you the whole project if we had chosen to paint it. So we've got the beak, eyes, and the top, which is misspelled. Yes, I'm gonna nudge these over to the side. And then I'm also gonna add the base. And if I chose to just do this all yellow and paint it later, control A to grab them, right click, let's set that color as yellow. And if we slice this plate, bingo, it's a 38 minute project. So there are some benefits to actually painting your projects later. Although there is something to be said for just having the awesome color print when it finishes. Of course, once printed, those are what they look like. Find your little switches. Of course, I've got these from Kali. And of course, we simply snap it in. Grab the ducky head. Make sure you've got the front edge lined up. And press it on. How cool is that? Friends, there you have it. Simple steps to take almost any 3D print and turn it into a clicky fidget. Friends, I want to wrap up by saying thanks to all my supporters on Patreon. You can learn more in the description down below and with the bit.ly up above. Finally, friends, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget every time you click that like button, share a video or add a comment down below or even hit subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering.